Clown meets pumpkin. Pumpkin. Anyway. Hey you, what up? Mariam here, if you could recognize me under all this makeup. In today's video, I am going to be creating this very emo, punk, jack-o'-lantern, pumpkin makeup look for Halloween. Even though Halloween 2020 just might be canceled, we don't even know what's gonna happen, but I'm sure there will be some Zoom parties or some type of Zoom work events or even work events that you might go to. So this is the type of look that would be perfect if your costume is literally from here up. Basically, this video is here just for fun, to hopefully inspire you to get out of your shell, to play with some of your makeup, to get creative, to get colorful, and to start having some fun. So with that said, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now, let's get to it. Emo slash punk pumpkin for Halloween 2020, which just might be canceled, but we're doing it for fun anyway. For the majority of this makeup tutorial, I'm gonna keep it somewhat predictable, somewhat normal. I'm gonna use my regular products, my primer, my foundation, some things that you've already seen me use in my previous video, and some new things that I'm loving. And then I'm gonna, you know, amp it up a notch for spooky season and apply some professional makeup. You absolutely do not need to use this. You can use whatever you have. You can use eyeliners. You can use Halloween cream paint that you could find at any Halloween store. But because, you know, my skin's a little sensitive and Halloween time is not really a pleasant time for my skin. So I'm gonna be using higher grade quality type of professional makeup. All right, anyway, let's begin. I'm going to prime with this Pacifica Hemp Blur. I've been liking this one because it just feels so, so, so refreshing on the skin. And it does leave it very, very matte. So I love that. Already I get a cat hair? How is that possible? I just started. I don't see it, but I feel it. My life. While that is setting, I'm going to basically <laughs> whip out my inspo. And I have two inspiration photos for this jack-o'-lantern makeup. One of them is my own makeup from two years ago. And I'll pop up right here for you guys. It's a cute little simple jack-o'-lantern, more on the glammy side, but definitely has that slightly eerie factor. And then I have this one other one. There's a tag here, Marion Chameleon. I've heard of this artist. She is amazing. And what I like about this specific in Spo is the glitter tears. I feel like this is very cool. It's kind of reminding me of a gangster clown. So before I even get to everything, I'm gonna take a white pencil, this one from Makeup Forever. And this isn't like a waterproof pencil. This is something that basically you can draw with on your skin and then easily erase. So this is what's gonna help me kind of map out that shape. And then I'm gonna know where exactly I'm not applying foundation. Are you following me? You are. First thing that I'm gonna do is outline this mouth. I'm just gonna give it like a basic shape. I want it to be slightly wider and bigger than my look from two years ago, but I still want it to be glam. And I love the fact that I did like this orangey ombre sort of lip. I want to keep that. All right, we've mapped out. I don't know if it looks like jack-o'-lantern yet, more like jigsaw puzzle pieces. <laughs> but we will make it work. Also kind of want to etch out the nose, something like that. I mean, the cool thing about Halloween makeup is that you don't have to be a professional. You don't have to be a makeup artist. You can just have fun with makeup. Literally, Halloween is like, you know, makeup's playground. <laughs> so don't forget to play, because that is important. All right, so for today, I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury foundation from my previous video. I just love this one so much because it's so glam and it's so full coverage. I miss it, therefore I need to use it. So I'm basically gonna apply that to all the areas that I'm not going to apply my Halloween makeup to. I'm just gonna use my regular brush at Cosmetics. I'm also most certainly going to put on a wig, though I haven't decided which wig it's going to be. So if it's gonna be a wig with bangs, then I might as well not worry so much about my eyebrows because they will be covered. 
still going over my jawline because that is where I have my breakouts. And although I've mapped this area out, I'm not really so worried about the lines. This was a very rough outline. So I'm just gonna keep on applying all my makeup as I always do. And kind of just like go over these areas a little bit just so that the makeup, my foundation, gets in all of those crevices of the teeth of the jack-o'-lantern. All right, so now foundation is on. Go ahead and apply my Magic Away Concealer from Charlotte T. If you didn't see my one brand tutorial, Full Face, the ultimate guide to Charlotte Tilbury, I will link it up here so you guys can check out all these products because they are really, really good. And if you're looking to get into Charlotte but just don't know where to start, that is precisely why I created that video, to give you a guide on what's good and also what you may not necessarily need, what you can skip. All right, blending that out. For this look today, I wanna have a very bright, lifted, glamorous under eye. So I want the rest of my makeup to appear very flawless, very full coverage, which is why I'm using such high quality, such full coverage products. I've been so busy this week. Friday is my birthday. I know this video will be out on Sunday, but I'm pre-filming it right now on Thursday so that I can enjoy the full weekend. I'm trying to plan a little get together for my family. Not that I am one to celebrate birthdays, but this year has just been so shitty. I just want to give everyone a reason to get together, to dress up for once and celebrate. Now, even if it's Celebrate me. No, but seriously, I haven't been into my birthday since I was about 12. Okay, maybe 18. I was really excited to turn 18 and also 21. But adulting is hard, you guys. So every time I get older, every year, I'm just always reminded of how life is not easy. But my family is everything and I always want to be able to celebrate the fruits of my labor with them. So maybe I might make it a tradition. Maybe every year I'll celebrate my birthday with my family. But back to my makeup. This <laughs> is looking some type of way right now. All right, I'm gonna powder down my forehead. Again, CT Airbrush Flawless. Next, brows. Laminated boy brows is what I've been doing a lot in 2020. So I'm gonna stick to the tradition and I'm gonna continue with the laminated boy brow. Brows are in place. Now let's make them a little wicked. I'm gonna use my Kevin Aquan pencil that I've been loving a lot lately in the shade Dark Brunette. And I'm going to basically accentuate this arch here. I'm also gonna fill in some of these shapes here. Eyebrows are just a little bit more defined, a little bit more sinister. And now I'm gonna use my Benefit Micro Filling Pen just to Add a couple of hair strokes throughout the brow. Like that, that's looking real good. All right, so now obviously these are some dramatic looking brows and they will be balanced out with some dramatic ass makeup. So wait for it, but for now, just enjoy the brows. All right, the next thing I wanna do is actually I wanna get to the lips. The reason being, I actually wanna create the mouth around the lips and I remember when I was doing it last year, I created the mouth first and then the lips and it was like a little bit harder than I anticipated. So today I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna take my Live Tinted Hue Stick in Rise, which is such a gorgeous color, not just for Halloween, but just a great pumpkin spice type of color, perfect for fall. I'm gonna outline my mouth, concentrating mainly on the lip line. I'm actually really going to overdraw my mouth a lot because it's gonna be surrounded with a lot of the black. All right, so I have this generous outline with this color. Next, I'm gonna take a brown lip liner, Dragon Beauty, the brown one. And I'm basically going to define this shape. I'm going to keep the edging very, very sharp, almost like I painted it with a Sharpie. And then I'm gonna blend the colors into each other. Then I have this really gorgeous orange color from Fenty. This one is called Tiger Teeny. And this is from their Mademoiselle lipstick collection. And I'm basically going to apply this whole color all over my lips and also past the lips towards that very scary brown outline. <laughs> so kind of like that. And then once again, going over with the brown. I'm gonna blot the slip for an extra matte effect. 
And I know this is like really over the top, almost scary right now, but I promise you, promise you it'll make sense. So next I'm gonna take my black pencil liner. This is actually a lip liner from MAC X Aaliyah collection. And I'm gonna outline the mouth shape right outside of the brown line. Definitely looks like I drew that in with a Sharpie. This is what it looks like. So basically these are paints that are activated by water. We have lots of vibrant colors here, most of which I will probably not use. But if you are using a set like that, may I also suggest a set of some synthetic brushes that are specifically meant for this type of product. Don't use your regular makeup brushes because you will ruin them. Right here, I have my little container of water. So I'm just gonna dip this synthetic brush, small-ish little angled flat brush into the water and then into my black paint. And I am actually going to start drawing this mouth. And I'm gonna come all the way up to the lip line, which is specifically why I applied the lip liner there. And basically what I'm gonna keep doing is filling in that shape and creating that jack-o'-lantern creepy mouth. Just creating some of these teeth. And as I'm heading to my ear, I'm kind of just like narrowing this shape a little bit, almost so that it looks like a really eerie smile. This will be harder to do once you start thinking about perspective and about staying true to what it should look like. But I say, don't worry about it so much. Just get the basic shape down first and then perfect it from there. Kinda wanna do one of these. Don't know why, I just do. Oh yeah. I don't know why that looks so weird and creepy. Okay, so off camera I decided to erase this whole situation that was happening here, going into the nostrils, and instead I decided to create teeth coming out of the nostrils. I feel like that just looks a little bit freakier and a little bit better. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did that because it's so super easy. This is where those makeup wipes come in very handy. But make sure you use biodegradable makeup wipes. Okay, so if you make a mistake like the one that I just did, or if you just wanna go in a different direction, doing it is so easy easy because these are water-based paints. So basically, I kind of want to match these teeth here to these top two teeth. So what I'm gonna do is erase a bit from this side, also a bit from this side, and just reapply a little bit of foundation to those areas that I erased so that everything is still very seamless. You don't have to reapply a lot. I'm just gonna put a drop of foundation to the back of my hand, use a much smaller brush, and just dab it to those areas. Another reason why a full coverage foundation comes in very handy here is that you can easily just erase mistakes. So now I'm gonna perfect this section here, make it a little bit more square. You could easily just outline this with a liquid liner, a liquid eyeliner, and then fill in the shape. That's even easier, but of course I never choose the easy route, so. So basically just continuing this line as it starts here all the way across to the other side. And I'm just trying to mirror it while keeping in mind the perspective of the smile and keeping in mind that all of these squares and shapes will get a little bit narrower and a little bit more tapered. Also trying to match these lines to the top lines, this line to this line. I can see now that this one needs to be just a little bit more straightened out. All right, we are getting somewhere, aren't we? Now at this point, I'm gonna start pulling this shape up towards the ear, just kind of finishing up the gaping mouth and then just running a line through that. Next, moving on to the nose. We're going to continue this line from the bottom to the top. So basically I'm painting the bottom of the nose, also the sides of the nostrils. And then I'm just continuing that shape up using small little strokes. And then I'm just gonna create a tiny little rectangle right on the center of my nose bridge. Just like that, and just like that. Kind of like a funky little pyramid here. I like it. All right, so now that we're done with this whole mouth, I think it's time to perfect it, and I also think it's time to create some really cool cracks. I'm gonna set this brush aside. I have this other synthetic brush for this type of makeup. So I'm going to use that to create cracks, stress cracks, if you will. 
Basically think of them as like little branches branching out. You don't have to do stress cracks on every single one. Maybe just a couple here and there. Make sure that some of them are finer than others. Also with this little brush, you can easily perfect any of the edges. You can actually connect two stress cracks and create a nice little crevice. Got a little carried away with this stress crack here. I just create one more of those little rectangles here. All right, I'm really liking some of my stress cracks. Some of them might be a little too much, like right here, why? You could easily just take some foundation and go over them and like make them a little bit less noticeable, which is totally fine. I definitely need a little crack right here. I am actually going to move on to the blush. So because we are a pumpkin essentially, but we are a glam pumpkin, I'm gonna use this orange blush from Seymour Single Blusher. This is Selfie Orange. I'm going to smile and I'm going to happily add that to my cheeks, just like that. This is also sort of going to help set our makeup. I actually feel like that looks really, really cool. So I'm basically just applying that to my skin, not really so much to the black part. And I'm kind of applying that in contour manner. I'm not so much worried about it being too bright. In fact, the brighter it is in this instance, I think it's the better. I'm also gonna apply some right underneath my eye. And then I am gonna one more time go over my under eye, just to make sure that this part is still illuminated. Oh, that one was a long one. It was a hero hair. So now I'm thinking I might just wanna perfect my lips a little bit we are going to move on to the eyes. So for the eyes, I'm just gonna grab the Suva Beauty Hydra FX Super Neon Orange Liner. It's actually called Acid Trip. I'm gonna use a Laura Lee Los Angeles brush, dip that into water, activate this liner, and I am going to create just a fun outline. I'm gonna make it just a little bit thicker. Extend this inner corner. And then also outline this whole eye. I don't know why I want to do this. This liner is just so damn cool. I am feeling really artistic right about now. Just like that. All right, something about this is very, very emo and I love it, but Totally, totally, totally incomplete. With the same liner, I kind of want to go over this whole entire jack-o'-lantern mouth shape. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So you might want to keep a makeup wipe handy just in case your orange brush gets contaminated with the black paint. All right, getting to these parts might be a little bit tougher. So I wouldn't worry too much about precision. Now that I'm done outlining the shape, I just wanna add a couple of these vibrant accents to just certain key areas, maybe right here. Fire! Also thinking, this lip just might need a couple of accents. And now I'm gonna move on to the eyes. Oh, this is looking real cute. I'm gonna need a black liquid liner. Got one right here from Mario. And I am going to draw straight through the orange, basically creating a big old wing, and then just connecting and perfecting everything. And I'm also just gonna draw another line, just like that, just for fun, just for fun. We're doing this for fun. I am just creating the only crazy avant-garde bird wings. I don't know where are we flying off to tonight, but I'm just keeping it fun. And let's do that wing on the inner corner too. I'm gonna grab this glitter that I have here. It's very, very orange, and it is from the Born Pretty store. Basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take some lash glue, and I'm gonna place some of that lash glue in a teardrop shape right underneath my eyelid here. I want this one to come down kind of low. 
almost to meet with that crack. I'm gonna wait for this glue just to set. And then I'm just gonna dip the first finger into this glitter. You may wanna wet your finger. I'm just gonna add that right directly to the teardrop. Grab the next finger and continue adding the glitter to that teardrop. The trick is to use a clean finger each time. That way you don't get any adhesive onto the glitter because the adhesive will dull your glitter. All right, at this point it should look sort of like this, which is honestly very, very cool. Kind of gold, kind of green. This method is so easy though. Did you see how precisely it adhered to that lash glue? Genius. And we are looking mighty freaky. All right, I am gonna go ahead and add some mascara to my lashes and also some false lashes. And I will be right back. I was missing a lot of orange from my face. So I decided to take my blush, the same one that I used for the cheeks. And basically I added a whole bunch of like contouring lines here to add a little bit of orange to my nose bridge. Also right here underneath my brow and kind of like extend that to the temple. And honestly, this was so super duper easy. There was barely any technique to it. I also kind of like went inside some of these crevices here and added just a little bit of orange wherever I thought it was needed. Lee told me that this mouth looks like a zipper and I completely agree, but I actually kind of like it. I feel like it goes with the whole emo pumpkin vibe. So now I've added these lashes from Velour and then I cut off the excess of the lash and I cut that part into three little pieces. And so now I'm gonna add those to my lower lash line because I really wanna be extra. I'm thinking we need a little bit of highlighter. I'm gonna grab my Charlotte Tilbury highlighter from the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I'm gonna add that glow exactly where the glow is needing to be on the top of my cheekbones and kind of just blend that with the blush, with the orange, just a bit right here. Next, I'm gonna take the Bar of Gold palette and I'm gonna add some of that fine gold right to the center, to the most protruding part of my cheekbone. Also thinking I wanna add some of that gold onto some of that black, just like that for a bit of shimmer. So it's not one flat color, but so that it still feels just a little bit more luminous and a little bit more festive. Didn't that just make a difference? And now I think I'm ready for my wig and for my final transformation. Are you ready? I'm ready. ready, ready. And here we are, emo pumpkin with some emo hair. A little edgy, a little glam, a little funky. Boop but definitely the type of costume that will be your costume literally from here up. So this is the type of costume that is perfect for a Zoom party, perfect for your family at home. If you want your makeup to be your costume, this is a look that I turn to ever so often, every time the spooky season comes around. I feel like it's just fun, it's quintessential Halloween, and it's just artistic, and you can easily make it your own. Thank you so much for watching and for subscribing, and I wanna wish you guys an awesome Halloween celebration, whether it is virtual or in person with your family while staying very safe. I wish you guys an awesome one. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Click on my next two videos. <laughs>